It is a growing problem across the country. Prices going up and families not having enough money for food. And that includes our veterans. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos spent the day in North Chicago where they received some much needed help. It's become a regular yet critical part of Josie Sparks Snow's weekly routine. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Um, I spend anywhere between three to four hours a week um, waiting in lines uh, to try and obtain food. Josie is a mother of two. Her husband is an active duty military member and her struggle to get food on their table, sadly, isn't a unique one. I wish people understood um, just how difficult it is being active duty um, and where our pay goes. We don't really have any extra to spend on food. This food pantry, organized by the Northern Illinois Food Bank at the Midwest Veterans Closet in North Chicago, has allowed families like Josie's to stay afloat. 250 holiday meal boxes were distributed on Friday. As the snow fell, the line grew. A dire resource in what has become a dire time in the state. We're serving about 450,000 neighbors every month. This is a 40% increase from last year and over 50% increase from pre-pandemic. Now, as families across the country feel the economic pinch being fueled by inflation, the struggle has become significant with active duty service members and their families. As many as 24% of active duty service members and their families experience some sort of food insecurity in the U.S., a statistic some argue is underreported. A lot of times we don't speak out and we don't ask for help because, you know, pride. The Northern Illinois Food Bank doing its part to fill bellies and lift hearts this holiday season. It makes you live a little bit easier day to day knowing that, you know, you're, you're supported. In North Chicago, I'm Angie Ramos, CBS2 News.